Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you uh, feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or insight that you truly need it, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It will be greatly appreciated. So the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, keep cracking those codes. Chaos and confusions quickly turns to uh, clarity and it's true there are so many different things it's like especially with this new moon that came in it's giving you that vibe like it's like giving you the, like preparing you like boo you are a whole mood within yourself you know <laughs> you are that whole new power flex that you know you got that that plot twist you know you you you, you know you're wrapping up season finales so it's just like you know, um, you're packing, uh, not packing, but you're 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 uh, cracking codes to different things into your life. Especially if you know you've been meditating a lot for different things that's going on into your life uh, in any form. All of a sudden, when you start clearing more, it'll start bringing down so many. You know, it'll wake you up in the middle of the night. Um, you'll have a lot of aha moments, or it'll be different things that'll come up from your past. Um, where it'll be showing you, okay, this is the reason why those certain situations happen. This is the reason why you met certain people. This is the reason why you detach from certain people and all these different things. So, because there's a lot of times where you feel like, why do I feel stuck? Maybe the reason why you feel stuck is, is because uh, you maybe you don't have belief in what you may be doing. Or you don't have that confidence within yourself that... Uh, that whatever you know universe has guided you towards you have that that vibe to make it and it's just like if they didn't it, you know universe a lot of times we feel that way and you're not the only one who feels that way you know we go through different things where it'll, it'll make us feel like um these are the different things that take place in our life and this is where we have to have that confidence in ourselves you know we get placed in these situations where you know um, it's really going to strengthen you in different ways you didn't know you didn't see coming and a lot of times it's hard to see that you know when you're going through so much and these are the different things it's like okay you know um, if I didn't go uh, through uh, bad relationships with every er, in every form you know, you may have been that person like, you know, I was talking about in my video a few days ago. It's just like talking about people pleasing. You know, if you didn't go through these different things, you wouldn't know where it's telling you, hey, you know, if this, this relationship with you in any form is not being reciprocated and that even includes family, this is something that you have to really detach from. You know, being able to have that strength to know, you know, if it's worth having, it will, it will be there. If there's different things where universe is telling you, if you need to part ways, there will be certain situations where it's breaking off that that communication with that that person uh in situation permanently but there'll be different times where these people are are you're going through your vibe of experience to go that leads you through healing and are being able to do the same thing too you know you can't force that on to nobody we can't place judgment on nobody but these are the different things that's teaching us it's like hey this is that code you're cracking to being able to know you're being solid with your boundaries, not just with other people, but with yourself. Whatever is toxic into your life, whether it's, you know, uh, toxic recovery, you know, um, healing inner child uh, trauma, you know, um, karmic cycles, uh, toxic cycles, all these different things, you know, it is, is leading you towards that way of healing and understanding why these are the, the things um, that are happening when you get to that heal, healing vibration is showing you the benefits of the different things that you're healing from. And these are the different things hey, that's going on. Ah, hold up. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I'm just like, if you want to turn on my my music, uh, and then they see, you know, all this daggone, uh, what is it? Those, those ads coming up. Sorry about that. But, um, you know, you're going through all those different things, and it's, uh, you're being able to heal from those things. You know, it's just like where we worry about other people defining us. This is at that point where you're healing your heart so much that no matter what is being said to you being projected towards you is how about you feel that with yourself and when you're doing that 
it, it's not going to break you. It's not going to make you, you know, um, just being able to understand, you know, I know I'm a part of the divine. I know I've got a purpose here. I know I matter. I know I'm loved. I know I'm protected. I'm an amazing person. You know, I'm um, that whole mood of a vibe of all, but you know, abundance. I'm, I'm my mastery of uh, alchemy. You know, I can sit up here and, you know, you're, you're creating your own mantra. You know, you're a walking mantra. You're a walking affirmation and those different things, you know, and it's just like even through struggle, you're finding your strength in some kind of way. And as soon as I said that, look right there, my picture up there and it says strength up there, but you're finding your strength in so many different ways. And then when you're doing that, you know, you're, you're finding that courage within yourself. You know, it's just like, don't fear the unknown. You know, the unknown is taking you places that are unknown to you, where you can see how far you can go. Because a lot of times we don't know and we, we give up too soon because we feel like failure or we feel like it's taking too long or things are just really not unfolding the way we expect it to. And these are the times that's telling you this is where you're going to you're going to have that value of appreciation, not with then the you know the change within just within the change of your of itself but within you within yourself you know and you're doing that through all the different changes you're going through and being able to you know uh uh finding that that vibration of showing you you know these are the different things that are taking place so when you're doing that it's just like you know it's like dissolving that you know because it's like a lot of times we're going through confusion is because we worry too much we stay focused on the wrong thing uh we're staying focused on how the the future can uh unfold just by the choices that we're making just by the decisions we're you know we're uh decisions that we're making and the choices that we're making you know and these are the different things it's telling you you know when you're allowing yourself to move in that vibration where universe is teaching you you're allowing yourself to be teachable you know when you're allowing yourself to be teachable you you can't get it wrong you know and a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that you know especially you know you keeping it real it, 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 a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that because that's where you are truly being tested at when everything feels like you being drawn back when you getting drawn back that means it's going to pull you in a powerful comeback and a lot of times when it, it just seems like sometimes you got to remind yourself when you're down to nothing god's up to something when he gets quiet you know the teacher is always quiet during the test he tests the heck out of us all the time and these are those different times where you know our, our faith is being tested our belief is being tested um our our, our uh patience is being tested all these different things you know and this is just like a lot of com times guys remind us this is not based on our timing it's based on his you know you see how my face just <laughs> it was like based on his you know but these are those things that's telling you you're you're gaining clarity and it's just like with that new moon came in it's telling you how um how you're clearing different things the storms you're being placed in is not to drown you but it's to clear out everything that's no longer needed and there's a lot of things we're going through and when you're going through that they're clearing universe is clearing out all that toxicity out of your life and when it's doing that it is going to be feeling like all you know hell done broke loose into your life you know and it, i mean these, these are like big size god but they're looking like about this big you know uh it's coming into your life and these are the things is, is telling you, you know, we have to be able to face these things. We have to be able to go through it. We didn't go through the storm. We don't realize that we are that actually some, that actual sun right where the actual light, you know, it's like you can be able to create that light within your tunnel or that don't be waiting on it. You create it within yourself, you know, being able to force yourself to know, you know, these are the, the, those times like not trying to force the door open, but being able to give you that determined you hold that light. You hold that light on everything that you're going through. You're going through these things for a reason. You know, and a lot of times we can feel like God abandoned us. God is sent up here torturing us. He's putting us through some kind of punishment. But we have to understand, number one, we're clearing, we're clearing karma right now. Everything that we have done, everything that we thought we got away with is being cleared. And through through those clearings, we're getting um life lessons as where is at that point where maybe you at that, that point where you're not gonna entertain BS. You're not just gonna do that. You know, you're healing your different triggers. You're you're sitting up here seeing, you know, and you have to be you have to be appreciative of that. And a lot of times it's like how are you gonna be happy that you're constantly being triggered? Because when it's it's like when you are allowing yourself to know this is why you're being triggered. And it's like, these are the different things that are, you know, we have to be able to face the facts. We, we don't have, only thing we got, we don't have control over our lives. And, and you know, we can have that control over how we deal with life and how we respond to it and how we observe that. 
you know and when we start trying to maneuver and manipulate different things like that it ends up backfiring and we will be that one that's pissed off or we be that one they'll be you know they'll be telling you because right now with everything that's going on they're telling you be very choicy about the things that you choose to do you know be very choicy and whatever you choosing to do let that mess be worth it because if it does every choice we got has consequences and you'll be different you're seeing different things like that they're telling you right now don't allow yourself to react you know, because a lot of times you may feel, you know, that urge to be able to do that. But just be, it's, it's telling you, is, it, is this a part of what you're trying to create into your life? Is this something that you're trying to manifest into your life? You don't have control over other people and their actions, but you have control over your actions. You know, and these are the different things. And it's just like universe. A lot of times we, you know, we can get at that point where it's like, oh, this situation is getting on my nerves. Oh, that person is getting on my nerves. And not realizing God brought those people into our lives. Whatever is not needed into there, he's bringing it to the surface. And that's what it's doing. That's when you crack and close when you're seeing. These are the different things that's coming up towards the life where it's getting very uneasy. It's like your energy is like, especially if you're a Hayoka, the more you end up healing and the more you end up uh, understanding why certain things take place, you become a trigger, a walking trigger within yourself. You a lot of egos is pulled up. Even your own ego is being pulled up. Where it's telling you, you know, even if it's, it'll be those different things where you'll know the ego is dying. When you can understand, is this the ego play? <laughs> is this the ego vibe? Is this something you know? Are you getting jealous about different things? Are you you getting anxious about certain things and you trying to rush to you know rush to open that door when God is like, look, you know, I'm I'm, I'm preparing you for this. I may be even preparing you for something that's more than what you asked for. So you can't open this door when you feel like it's, you know, when it when it gets uncomfortable, or when it gets unbearable. I know everything that you're going through. I know every move that you're making. I know the moves you're going to make before you make them. Also, I know the moves of your enemies as well. These are the different things that are teaching you in so many different ways to understand why it's taking place. And those are the different things, you know, is, is bringing chaos, is bringing confusion, is bringing drama, everything up to the to the surface where it'll show you even with certain entities it is just like when you you already know if, if it's going to be that thing you're letting go of people that get comfortable with misunderstanding you you you're letting go of people that create anger and drama into your life whatever is holding you back you're allowing yourself to work on that and it's going to be used through those exact people you know and those are the different things that's taking place because it'll be different things where you know is this is not how my life is going to continue to be this is not how I'm, I'm not going to continue to tolerate these things i'm not going to continue to you know entertain these different things that's why we're going through soul ties karmic cycles and all these other things where it's showing you this is not where this is not where this is going to be at you know this is not where it's going to be at allow myself to go through these things yes it may be unbearable but this is where my blessings are coming in uh, being able to understand the blessings are coming through the hardship you know, these are the different things that's going to help you grow. These are the different things that's going to help you, you know, fly. Being able to recognize your own light through the midst of the storm. You are doing that through the things that you're going through. You know, and you get appreciative. You know, and I tell myself a lot of times, you know, you go through, you know, your different vibrations. And I tell people, I keep it transparent. Not every day is a positive day for me, you know. And, it, and it's okay for doing that because I'm allowing I'm allowing myself to face everything that I'm going through. And that's not an easy thing. What we do, and when you're allowing yourself to face those things, that's not for the weak at heart. You may be going through some different things into your life where it makes you feel weak. It makes you feel vulnerable. And it makes you feel defeated. But these are the things that are, where universe is going to make you understand. There are some, you, you built different. Your story is different. So things is not going to turn out like, you know, well, well, Sally didn't have to go through all that. And she had got her blessings and this and this and that. Sally's journey is different than your journey. You know, we can't sit up here and judge a chapter 10 from a chapter 200. You know, you don't know what Sally went through to get to those blessings. You don't know how long she had to work for to get to those blessings. A lot of times what our, our situation is, we want somebody's glory without having to detach. We want to detach away from that story, but we want the glory that they have and not understanding the story is what got that person to that glory. You know, you become consistent and you stay persistent for those things. And those are the ways that you're sending up here cracking those codes when you do that. You know, when they're telling you, look at how your life has been. 
Look at the different things that there were certain situations where you felt like you weren't going to overcome and you miraculously did. That was all but God and universe for that. There's a lot of times that he don't put you through a hell of a situation. But he tell you, I will make you walk through hell. You won't come out smelling like fire and your dad's on show won't be dressed in soot. You know, you're going through those different things and you'll still end up having your angel wings and they will not be touched. They won't be touched. They won't be touched, but they won't be touched. And those are the different things that's going on. And you'll be cracking those codes for that because it'll be those different situations into your life. Look at the things you currently are facing right now. And you're not facing little petty, you know, little petty, any little things like that. You hitting some hard, hard situations. And these are the different things that are showing you. Look how strong you are going. Look at look at how strong you are on everything that you're facing. Not all at one time. And they're heavy battles that you're facing all at one time. There'll be different days where the universe knows you don't want to give up. There'll be different days that you know you want to end it all. There'll be different days that you just feel like you don't have it. You know, to be facing what you are. You know, you don't have that courage to have. You don't have the patience for that. But these are those things that's like universe and universe and all, all your spiritual, you know, your enforcements. It's not going to let you quit. You know, I'm like, I'm going to let you have that pause for today because you're talking, you're talking stupid right now. You ain't stupid, but you're talking stupid. And you know, when we're going to let you pause for that minute. And we're going to give you that encouragement. We're going to give you that flow. We're going to give you those things. Because I'm telling you, you are you make impossible possible through the changes you are making place. You know, you, that's taking place within you. And those are the different codes that you're cracking. You're understanding. You're starting to understand more. The more you end up releasing, you're opening, opening your space for something new. You're opening your space to be teachable towards different things you weren't able to see before. Because a lot of times we stay focused on what we don't have that's just a human experience we do it we oh i like this i like that i like that and we create we're, we're that manifestor creates our own reality they understand that what we need and what what we uh what we're needing to be furnished with or whatever universe knows that and a lot of times it may feel like it ain't fair there's a lot of people out here that's homeless you know and and different different hectic situations far far more than what we are there'll be different people that have limitations to their abilities and i'm talking about limitations to where it may be special needs or um they you know they may like not having all their limbs but it'll be different times where god also you know it'll be times where you know i had to have a reality check on my life and i said that before where i would be complaining about different things into my life and universal show me like i was telling y'all that one time where i was seeing this little boy he i mean this little boy on his mo this dad on uh what was this uh skateboard had no limbs had no limbs, had no arms, and I was like, oh my God, I'm so scared for this baby. He ain't got, you know, how it's going to make itself stop. Well, I'm telling you, this this little boy was on, he, he was manhandling that dog on, you know, skateboard. You know, and he didn't have the attributes that a lot of us have. They don't have those, you know, those limbs that we have, and we complain about different things. And this baby sitting up here without that, and that will make you, it'll like, humble yourself real quick because you could be in his situation. And with him being in his situation, he's not allowing his situation to limit him. And that's what he was, they'll be showing you. A lot of times God will give you certain situations like that just to be able to show somebody. We were like, oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do that. You know, my coordination's messed up. Yeah, there's a lot of us that got two left arms and two left feet. But if you got to go in that circle just to get to where you got to go, he didn't want you to be able to do that. And these are the different things that's taking place into your life. You're cracking codes. A lot of the things that used to be so chaotic and so you know fury for you you know it, it could have just been strike fire like you've been added towards that and you were in a mist of fury and it is just like um going through that and you can look back at it and look at how much strength you got from those situations you know and those are the different things that you, you're going through like this it's not easy to go through what we're going through everybody is facing their own personal war but there'll be times where you got to understand that's their war that's not your war <laughs> you know, you got your own war you got to deal with. You on that mountain, make sure you, you climbing that mountain. Don't make sure th that mountain climbing you. You know, being able to understand you hold your own weight. A lot of times with us being, you know, um, empaths, we carry a lot of other people's weight. You know, just because we're on that healing journey, we want everybody else to be on that healing journey too. We can't force that. You know, we only can sit up here and, hey, I, 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 
I can't I can't be a miracle worker with you. I can share my experience to you to be able to understand you are a walking miracle within yourself. You know, because a lot of times we feel like when we're light workers, oh, I got to save this person, I got to save that person. Clue in, you can't save nobody but yourself. That's the only thing. A lot of times we're looking for that knight in shining armor with that prince charmer, that this, this, and this, and that. And we have to understand, we have to save ourselves. It always starts with us first. We want to have love into our life. You find a love. That, that's when they tell you, you got to manifest that love within yourself. You want respect into your life. You got to be able to respect yourself. Anything that's not respecting you, anything that's not, is taking you out of your, mo, your, your vibrations of element of peace. You, you have to allow yourself to dead neck. You know, put that on there. And a lot of times when you put those boundaries up, there will be a lot of people that's going to respect it and understand because they're going to want you to respect theirs. But there's a lot of people that don't like that either. You know, and it is what it is with that situation. I was saying, go in there with that. But, you know, it is what it is with that situation. You still maintain that. You keep that bar up at every, at all costs within yourself. And then there will be times where you're just going to appreciate that. And that's where another code is cracking too. Instead of allowing ourselves, you know, um, to get angry at the different things that we're going through, which is an automatic thing. We tend to get angry over things that goes out their way, you know, to do certain things. Certain things that can't be helped. There are some certain things that can't, you know. But it, it's just like, no matter what. That's why I look at everything I go through. It used to be a hurtful situation. It, you know, and at times it still is. But then it's just like when I look at it, I, I give so much gratitude to everything that I've gone through. Toxic relationships, cars, toxic society, you know, uh, tides, you know, cycles, whatever, generational curses. You know, we, we breaking those things. And for that, it, it comes crazy. It comes crazy because the devil don't want us to sit up here breaking those things. He liked it when it was crazy. He liked drama. He liked chaos. He liked wars. You know, he likes us being able to be put against each other. He likes us when we judge other people, we, even when we know we ain't got our own stuff straight. You know, he likes stuff like that. He likes that. You see all the stuff that's going on right now. When I say it's, it's getting real crazy, God preparing for something. You know, and I said, I, I pray for those people that were found in, in the back of that trailer where they said the immigrants, there was a lot of immigrants being caught in uh, in some trailer without no air conditioner. The thing was like 81 people. And then you, you find people where, where you know, this, there's parents, you know, un, unliving their children. Or people finding different babies in freezers and stuff like that. I'm like, what the heck? is going on I had to be able to do not disturb because I got tired of seeing all that junk that was going on I said God I don't, it's like the rapture is going on right now it really is and you feel that you feel it because it's, it's just like universe is baiting and you can see the good and the evil the true intentions of the good and the bad all those different things is going on for wherever is God is preparing us for because you feel it coming it's, it's just like you know, when you have that kettle on the stove, you know, the one where the got the little nozzle to it and you pick it up and it make, make that little whistling noise. That's what we're going through. That water, we are the pot that's boiling, you know, and God is that little hole that's going to start whistling. He about to, he's about to blow that whistle at any time because you feel it because things is getting real, real uncomfortable, really crazy. And these are the different things that's cracking those codes because you're going to understand what's taking you. You're already on that next level and that's the reason why stuff is crazy. It just feels like all hell breaking loose on your life. And it just feels like, oh Lord, my, li my life is being damned. They always tell you, it gets really hectic towards the end. You're closing a lot of different things. You're letting go of what no longer serves you. You're understanding why these different things has happened. And being able to show gratitude for everything you face. Even if it broke your heart, made you cry, made you feel some type of way. You looking at folks like, I don't even know who you are anymore. You know, all those different things. But it's telling you know who you are. What you feel about yourself is how you define yourself. You hold that, that respect in regards for yourself. Hold those gates and boundaries up with you, with yourself. You know, even when you feel like yourself is moving backwards or you stay focused on certain things that's out of your control. Universe, no. It, you, when you do that and you know you're healing, when you can sit up here and say, but you're okay now. <laughs> you know, it'll be like, but you're okay now. Yes, this made you mad, but you're okay now. Or yes, you, you were confused, but you're okay now. You know, and those are the different things that's coming on into your life that will speak volumes of truth to you. You had to go through these things. 
You know, you had to go through a setback because it prepared you for a powerful comeback. You had to be hurt by the people that you love the most because then this is showing you the true intentions of they didn't love you in the first place. You know, that love was that that, that was you, you seeing the true definition of love right now. You seeing the true definition of a lot of things. God will put you in the midst of a storm on some dark moments. And you'll see if you all you got is friend, friendship and love to offer somebody, how many people will be in your corner? When they know they couldn't benefit off of nothing from you except knowledge, wisdom, love, kindness, you know, affection from you. How many people will be there for you? And they're showing you that. These are the moments where you're seeing when you in your darkest moments, the people that stay by your side that's uplifting you, that gives you that word of encouragement, give you that love and light, pushes you to be better. You know, not try to block you or hold you back. Push you to be better. You know, those are the people that needs to stay in your corner. Those are the people you hold tight is I don't know what, like they going out of style because folks like that is going out of style. <laughs> you know, it's going out of style. When they're like that for you, you hold those people in high regards. So it's when God opens that door for you on your blessings, you make sure you give them that that, that type of same treatment that they, you know, that you deserve it. You that's when God's like, no, he ain't gonna bless no mess. But he's taking you to that next level and he's gonna have people that's gonna help you get there. You know, there's a lot of things that people are trying to do in your life where they feel like, oh, if I don't support that person, you know, they ain't going to get there. If I block certain things from that person, they're not going to get there. God will allow certain things to pop off like that and still elevate you and still elevate you. These are those different things that go on. So they're telling you don't hold no fear over anything where somebody is trying to hold the grips off of you because they see you're trying to elevate you know, and a lot of different things is not, you know, different things will come up where it, it'll cause confusion even for the people that don't like you, even for the people that are trying to block you, even for the people that's wishing bad on you. It's causing confusion in their life. You, it's causing confusion for you, but you're moving through those confusions. You're, you're, create, you're creating a power source within yourself to know you were the whole power source in the whole beginning, from the beginning. And those were your cracking codes too. Where you understand you are a God-fearing person, not no people-fearing person, not no black magic people person, not no war path, you know, war path of a war, war, uh, spiritual warfare feeling person, but you're a God-fearing person. God make moves that other people cannot, anybody cannot, you know, and he's using everything that you're going through to strengthen you. You know, these are the different things that's going to go on into your life. If people don't want to support you, support yourself. People don't want to believe in you. Believe in yourself. You know, you can make this on your own. You can elevate on your own. No matter what is being shut down, no matter what is being blocked from you, you will still elevate. You will still make it because God, if God sees that you putting, you you know, he's using those situations with the enemy to put you towards the test anyway. And a lot of times we have to understand God will sit up here and, and push pain to create power within us. He will have hate put in our lives to embrace love. You know, all those different things is taking place into your life for the benefit of you. Because a lot of times we ask, why is it happening to us? No, it's happening for us. Because a lot of times it's like you got to ante up. You got to be able to understand there'll be some kind of resistance is there. Is Are you going to allow that resistance to stop you? Are you going to have haters stop you? You going to have the enemy stop you? No. Are you going to have spells stop you? No. Are you going to have black magic stop you? No. You know, all this stuff is going on right now. There's so many people that are talking about this right now. So many people. But you're clearing karmic tides. And when you're clearing karmic tides, there's a lot of people that don't want to see you do that. You know, and you, you hold that potential. You were that chosen one to be able to be able to be able to project that towards other people. To know you can project your own. When we can sit up here and place our energy in different things that has nothing to do with our lives. When we can place that energy on placing harm on anybody. We place that energy on trying to block and sabotage people. You just think about how much power you're doing in that and that's useless. That's nonsense. You know, God, God is going to be able to move through all that. But it's like. We do that so much on people, you know, and that's what needs to stop. But when we can place that energy on something like that, that's a whole bunch of energy that you're wasting. You know, it's like you're wasting that. Place that, all that energy, you can when you can place that on other people's lives, place that on yourself. 
be better people. The world would be a better place. You know, we create in wars when there's no war there. You're creating that on your own. And it end up being a war within yourself that you're doing that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, I, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. I hope um, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, I'm sending whatever vibes that you need to be able to get you through that. I'm sending it towards you 20 million times, so you know because you deserve anything you're working hard for regardless on what's going on how long it's taking you to get there you deserve all your coins you deserve all your flowers matter of fact they need to go ahead and give you the whole daggone building of those flowers so you keep going okay so no matter what you're going what matter what you're facing what your surroundings look like keep going if you need to take a pause because things are getting overwhelmed you take that pause for that cause and you keep pushing okay so whatever you're needing where's the resilience consistence persistence determination motivation vibes I'm, I'm sending that all towards you healing vibes comfort vibes uplifting vibes I'm sending that towards you and amplifying that because you need it so you stay persistent and consistent on everything you do because the devil staying busy don't give him nothing to do tell him he a whole lie he ain't nothing but a lie <laughs> and you telling your truth so you keep on going because, you know, he may convince you today to give up because tomorrow he know them, them floodgates of blessings of prosperity and abundance is going to be busting wide open. So I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, you know, um, just being able to help each other, you know, towards that next level, being able to heal um, and just being able, you know, to understand why, you know, certain things are the way they are, why we why we were guided towards a certain position in our life, why we were placed in a certain position. And I love to be able to help people do that. Whatever we discuss is confidential and I help out the best way I can. If you're interested in my podcast, I also have that there on my community page if you're interested in um, doing a podcast. I can also help you that and give you uh, the insight on that. It's really easy to do. It's like I'm not a tax savvy person, but I love being able to do it. It's very easy and simple to set up, you know, and to share it all over the place. I got Spotify. Was it in listening? I mean, I got so many different places that mine are, are um, and they notify me on where it's been shared at that. And you get paid from it too as well. So, um, and even if you uh, feel generous enough to drop a donation, it's greatly appreciated. Um, the tax, uh, I said the tax. Uh, cash app is at the bottom as well so I hope you have a blessed prosperous week in everything that you do you know blessing of peace and uplifting you know a lot of us are facing you know a lot of things that other people don't understand but you just keep going so I'm just giving you that love you know that uplift that you really needing just to get through so um you know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things can really, you know, take you a long way. I mean, take them a long way and just for you helping them without anything and wanting anything in return will take you even further. So you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Namaste. Shalom. Uh, Grand Risings, I say. And um, namaste and God bless. Blessed be. Peace.